Lecture 4, para sa course na Fundamentals of Surveying. Ididiscuss natin ngayon yung measurement of horizontal distances, particularly yung methods of measuring distances. So yung mga topics na ididiscuss natin dito, yung pacing, taping, mga introduction tungkol sa tachymetry, graphical and mathematical methods, mechanical devices, tsaka yung electronic distance measurement. So proceed tayo sa pacing. So pacing consists of counting the number of steps or paces in a required distance. A pace is defined as the length of a step in walking. It may be measured from hill to hill or from toe to toe. So based sa figure natin, nakikita naman na yung isang pace ay from a hill nung isang foot tsaka yung hill dun sa kabila pa. Or pwede rin yung toe to toe. At yung isa pang nasabi dito, yung stride, equal naman yun sa two pace or yung tinatawag na double step. It is suitable in determining approximate distances in situations where a low precision of measurement is sufficient. So yung pacing, ginagawa to para makuha natin yung approximate distance gamit yung pagbibilang lang dun sa number of paces. So distances by pacing are sufficiently accurate for small scale mapping, for locating details and traversing with a plane table and in reconnaissance surveys. Under average conditions, a good pacer will have little difficulty in pacing distances with a relative precision of 1 is to 200. So yung pacing, ginagawa lang to kapag hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang accurate na measurement. Hanggat maaari nga lang dahil nga measurement nito is from hill to hill or toe to toe, consistent yung paglalakad mo all throughout dun sa activity ng pacing. So ito rin nga pala yung unang lab activity para sa fundamentals of surveying. So ang gagawin natin doon, meron akong isa-set na tape distance. Tapos uh, ipipace nyo yun, tapos makukuha natin kung ano yung pace factor na tinatawag. Yung pace factor, yun yung length ng kada pace nyo. So yung unit niya is meter per pace. So makakapag-solve tayo dito ng mga problems tungkol doon. Sinabi rin dito na yung good pacer daw, kailangan hanggat maaari yung relative precision na tinatawag uh, nasa 1 is to 200 ka lang or pwedeng interpret natin na magkakaroon ka ng 1 meter error dun sa 200 meter ng measurement. So ginagamit nga to sa reconnaissance survey. Yung preliminary survey nang titingnan mo lang kung ano yung existing condition ng site. So susukatin mo siya by pacing para makuha yung approximate na measurement. So proceed tayo sa sample problem. 45 meter course AB on level ground was paced by a surveyor for the purpose of determining his pace factor. So ito yung gagawin natin kagaya sa lab nyo. The number of paces for each trial taken are shown in the accompanying tabulation. Required ay yung pace factor. If the surveyor then took 771, 770, 768, 770, and 772, and 769 paces in walking an unknown distance CD, what is the length of the line? So ito yung application natin para dun sa pacing. So ang gagawin niya is magbibilang na lang kayo from distance uh, point A to point B or dito yung distance ng uh, CD from point C to point D. So binilang daw ng surveyor. So iba-iba yung nakuha niyang number of paces para matraverse yung point C to point D or yung distance CD. So pagkakuha natin ng pace factor, so i-apply natin yun doon sa second question. And yun last, assuming that the tape length of the line CD is 667.0 meters, determine the relative precision of the measurement performed. So kinuha natin yung tape length ng line CD, so 667.0 meters. So nakalagay sa table, no, line A to B, so yun yung sinet para makuha yung pace factor. Tapos yung tape distance from line A to B is 45 meters. Para makuha yung pace factor, number of paces from A to B, so nakalagay din yung una is 50, and the next is 53, 51, 53, 52, and 53 paces. So yung mean number of paces para matraverse yung line AB na may distance ng 45 meters is 52. So para makukuha yung pace factor, yung pace factor nga ang unit niya, di ba? Meter per pace. So tape distance over mean number of paces. So therefore, pace factor is equal to 45 meters divided by 52 paces. So pace factor is equal to 86.54 meter per pace. So okay na yung pace factor, kagaya sa lab number 1. So yan din yung i-represent nyo, no, yung pace factor. So gagawin natin doon, meron nga nakatape na distance. Tapos kukunin nyo kung gano'ng karaming paces yung required para matraverse nyo yung line na yun. 
Pagkain tayo sa pace factor, next naman yung distance CD. Hahanapin natin kung ano yung length ng line CD. So, para makuha yung length ng line, sa so pace distance is equal to pace factor multiplied sa number of paces. Dahil yung unit nga ng pace factor is meter per pace, pag minultiply natin siya sa number of paces, so meter na lang yung matitira. So, makukuha natin yung pace distance na tinatawag. So, nakalagay dito yung mean number of paces for CD. So, yung average number of paces para matraverse yung line CD. So, 771, 770, 768, 770, 772, tsaka 769. So dahil anim yun, so divide natin sa 6 para makuha yung average number of paces. So line CD is equal to 770 meters. Uh, 0.8654 yung pace factor multiplies the number of paces. So therefore, length ng line CD is equal to 166.4 meters. So dito na sa pace factor, sya kayong sa length ng line CD kung napapansin nyo. Na yung pace factor, ginamit natin ditong decimal places is 4, no? 4 decimal places. So, pagkasundoan na lang natin, na pag pace factor, gawin natin siyang 4 decimal places. Tapos, para dun sa iba, so, isolve natin siya using yung uh, mga rules sa significant figures. So, kagaya nga nung una, sa mean number paces, kinuha natin na significant figure is yung uh, 770, no? 770 paces. Sa so, sakto rin naman yan. Tapos, dun sa length ng line CD, So, 666.4. So, kinuha natin dahil nag-multiply ka yung 8654, yung 4 significant figures. So, 666.4 meters yung sagot natin para sa length ng line CD. At yung last, so yung relative precision, uh, difference ng tape distance minus space distance or yung known na measurement minus yung observation over yung known measurement. So, equal dito, 667.0 minus 666.4 over 666.4. Therefore, relative precision is equal to 0.6 over 666.4. So, ang sabi kong naalala pa dun sa previous lectures, na ginagawa nating unity yung numerator. So, therefore, divide natin yung numerator sa 0.6 din, tapos yung denominator sa 0.6 din. So, makukuha natin dyan, 1 over 1,111. So, therefore, yung surveyor, meron siyang 1 meter na error per 1,111 meter na observation or measurement. In five trials of walking along a 90 meter course on fairly level ground, a pacer for a survey party counted 51, 52.5, 51.5, 52.5, 52 and 51.5 strides. They then started walking at a known distance xy in four trials, which were recorded as follows, 88.5, 89, 88, and 87 strides. Determine the following. First ay yung pace factor, halos gaya rin kanina, yung length of line xy, tapos yung percentage of error in the measurement if the tape length of xy is 150.5 meters. So ang kaibahan lang dun sa previous problem, so ang gagamitin natin dito is yung stride. Tapos instead na yung relative precision, kukunin natin yung percentage of error. So una yung pace factor, sabi nga pace factor is equal to tape distance over mean number of paces. So mean number of paces, So, average nung ah, kung ilang pace para makuha natin yung tape distance. So, 51, 52.5, 51.5, 52.5, 51.5. Dahil stride to, so multiply natin sa 2 para makuha yung number of paces. And then divide sa number of observations, so divide by 5. And then mean number of paces is equal to 103.6 paces. At yung pace factor is equal to 90 meters divided by mean number of paces na 103.6. So therefore, pace factor is equal to 0.687 meters per pace. Okay, next, para makuha naman yung length ng line xy. So pace distance for line xy is equal to pace factor multiply sa mean number of paces. Kasi mean number of paces, so kung gaano karami nga yung pace para makuha natin yung xy so nakastrides din yung unit natin dito or yung ginawang pagbibilang so 88.5, 89, 88, tas 87 so multiply ulit sa 2 dahil stride to para maging pace divide din natin sa 4 dahil yung number of observations so therefore mean number of paces for xy 176.25 paces so therefore pace distance ng xy is equal to pace factor multiplied dun sa 176.25 so therefore pace distance xy is equal to 153.11 meters so next naman na yung percentage error 
So percentage error equal yun sa relative precision din na multiply lang sa 100%. So relative precision or percentage error is equal to so tape distance minus space distance over tape distance. So tape distance natin 150.5. So, minus 153.11 over tape distance 150.5 multiplies 100%. So, therefore, percentage error is equal to 1.73%.